New Concord, Ohio, wasn't on many maps until February 20th, 1962. It came to fame in a single day with an American adventure that history will call the John Glenn story. Fashioned in the American image, this pleasant little city typifies a nation's ideal way of life. A man might make a good life here in the circle of family and friends. And a boy might let his imagination soar. He might explore the wonders of the wide world all about him, life's simple mysteries. With bright discovery, daily opening doors to knowledge. He can look away to distant places, to exciting adventures, hidden only by the horizon and the future. Like this boy, like boys everywhere, Young John Glenn dreamed of the future as he looked to far away new frontiers. Why, he might even learn to fly. This town and these people, they knew John Glenn as a schoolboy, as a teenager, and as a neighbor. Like Mayor Taylor, they followed his career as he blazed a trail across the high sky. I watched John Glenn grow up from a freckled face red-headed lad in the man you all know today. John's youth and his life today are an example for all Americans to follow. New Concord High. Like these youngsters, John attended school here. His principal and teacher was Harford Steele. He was an excellent student, and he graduated with honors from our high school. I taught Johnny and hundreds of others that our democracy is a priceless heritage and that we should preserve, protect, and if at all possible, make some contributions to it. He has made a significant contribution in his mission in space. And this fine new school in New Concord, it's the John Glenn High School. With its first graduating class receiving diplomas, Young John helped his father about this shop when he wasn't in school, or acting as lifeguard in the summer at High Y Camp or at college. John went on to college at Muskingum, right in New Concord. The high regard of the college is expressed by its president, Dr. Glenn McConaughey. John's uh, conquest of space has captured the hearts and the imagination of all Americans. So have his superb qualities of leadership, moral and physical strength, and emotional stability. John found time for athletics, winning four high school letters. Muskingum coach Ed Sherman recalls John Glenn's athletic record. John played football right here on this field. He was captain of his high school team and played center for the college. He has proven the value of teamwork, both as an athlete and later as an astronaut. Just like these boys, John took an active part in our physical fitness program. He proved that a good mind and a good body always go together. Campus discussions are inspired by the first orbital flight of an American. I think that John Glenn, by his flight, has given us an opportunity to see that, well, we have a chance to do something for our nation, too. Maybe I'll even go somewhere sometime. We had the same opportunities that he had. Glenn proved by his flight that there are still many frontiers to be explored and conquered. And that just shows how very vital our education is if our future is to be go. Glenn always had a strong spiritual side, as Dr. Charles Moorhead recalls. John Glenn attended Sunday school and services at this church when he was a boy like Randy Bradley here. Let's attend services for a moment at John Glenn's church.
John and Annie were married at this church by Dr. Henry Evans. They made a most handsome couple. John in his marine uniform, Annie a beautiful, happy bride. They both recognized the importance of the spiritual things of life as well as the mental and physical. The trial is also great for those who wait, as recalled by Annie's parents, Homer and Margaret Castor. Johnny's orbital flight was a real test of courage for Annie, too. She was a very brave girl. Annie had complete faith in the space program, just as she had confidence in everything Johnny set out to do. This house was home for John Glenn. John Glenn Sr. and Mrs. Clara Glenn are gratefully proud of their son's accomplishments. John was fully prepared for his orbital flight, as were the other astronauts and the entire team. In a way, John has been preparing all his life for his venture into space. As a small boy, his idea of a holiday was a visit to the airport. And when he grew up, it was no surprise to us when he decided to learn to fly. Flight commanded young John's major interest. He had to learn to fly. World War II interrupted college. He received his first flying lessons from pilot Harry Clever. This is John's flight record with my comment after his first flight, which was eager to learn, relaxed, alert, and good coordination. He certainly has retained these flight qualities right into outer space. <laughs> 